What's up guys, this is Mike from Jersey Connect and today we're going to take a look at the new John Morant Memphis Grizzlies Hardwood Classic Swingman Jersey. This jersey is definitely in my top 10 favorites for like the new releases this year. It's a throwback to the old unis. So in today's video what I'm going to do is unbox the jersey, give you guys a closer look. I think it's pretty much sold out at the moment but hopefully it helps you decide if you want to purchase it or pass on it. If you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel just by hitting like. If you want to hit subscribe go ahead and then i also have a notification bell so when i drop new videos you don't miss out let's go ahead and unbox this thing so i got this at the grizzlies team store i got it on pre-order like i want to say like two and a half months ago it, it was a long time so i've been waiting and i got it for 130 bucks so it comes in a little plastic bag and here's the first look boom man look at this i got it at the grizzlies team store so you get that fedex patch that's dope look at that all right then you got John Morant let's go ahead and take a closer look at it and starting off at the collar man you got this beautiful colorway you got teal you got red with a white stripe that goes in the middle you got the same thing on the arm openings and when we go to the NBA logo so this is a swingman jersey so it's gonna be heat pressed but on the hardwood classics jersey they got like a darker blue and they kind of have like a maroon, darker red. And in the Jerry West is actually um, kind of like off-white, kind of like beige. So it's not like that regular white. Then we go to lettering, we got Morant right here. I feel like he's gonna be a future star. Then we got the numbering. So the majority of the number is white. Then you see the red and teal trim around it, all heat pressed. And when we look at the back side, you can see you got the black polyester base. There's a red stripe, separate polyester that's stitched together. And then you got the teal side panel. Really dope. Man, it really pops on this black. And that's the back. And when we go to the front side, the collar has the same beautiful colorway. But right here in the middle, you got a separate polyester. You got the grizzly claw with the basketball. Man, that thing looks so clean. I believe it is printed onto the jersey. And we'll finish up right here. Arm opening, same thing. Then we go to the Nike swoosh. Swingman jerseys have it all heat pressed. I like the white, it pops out on the black jersey. And since I got it at the Grizzlies team store, you get the sponsor patch FedEx. Since we're up here, retail tags. Oh, I thought, thought I got it for 130, 135. Quite expensive. Hardwood classic, dry fit, standard stuff. And when we go to the lettering, so Memphis, same thing, white base, red and teal trim all nicely heat pressed numbering you got the same style as well all heat pressed and we go down to the jock tag you get the standard stuff you got swingman 44 which is a medium and the nike swoosh then we'll check out the side panels you got that red stripe there's nothing on the side panels you just got that different colorway and that is the front of the jersey and this is what it looks like when you wear it. So I'm 5'6", 170 pounds. I usually get a size large because I like it a little baggier, but this is what a medium looks like. So it fits really well. I just like it a little baggier, that's all. So this is the front side of the jersey. You got that side panel. You got the side panel here. Then you got the back. You got John Morant. You hit the off the backboard. No, nah, nah. All right, but that's a back. This has to be one of my favorites for the 2020, 2021 season releases of jerseys. Man, I really wish they did the Hardwood Classics with the authentic versions. They only did Swingmans. Like, man, this would be so clean and authentic. What do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below. Whew, man, this thing looks clean. Hey, thank you guys for watching again, and on to the next video.